Welcome back for another presentation about clinical toxicology. This is Dr. Sushard, and this time we're going to be looking at Ipecac and its use in gastrointestinal decontamination. Spoiler alert, this is going to be a pretty short video because treatment with Ipecac has become obsolete. The objectives for this topic are that when you're finished with this video and studying any related course materials, you should be able to explain the mechanism of action of Ipecac and gastrointestinal decontamination and to outline why Ipecac is no longer a recommended treatment for toxic ingestions. So what is Ipecac? Ipecac is a plant-derived emetic agent, which is to say it causes you to vomit. Here we see a botanical print of the plant source called Carapicia ipecacuana. This is a plant native to the American tropics, and its name is derived through Portuguese from the indigenous Tupi language, meaning roadside sick-making plant so its emetic properties appear to have been recognized for a long time. A preparation called syrup of Ipecac is how it had been commonly used in recent Western medicine. Syrup of Ipecac was indicated for gastrointestinal decontamination, via vomiting, after toxic ingestions. Here we see two small 30cc syrup of Ipecac bottles from different manufacturers, and on each of them is the same statement, that this medicine is for emergency use to cause vomiting and poisoning, before using, call physician, poison control center, or hospital emergency room immediately for advice. For many years, the recommendation had been to have a bottle of Ipecac in everyone's home. In the case of a toxic ingestion, you could give the Ipecac right away, without the delay of getting to the hospital, and you'd be able to remove more of the poison before it was absorbed the earlier the Ipecac was given. This is a similar argument to giving activated charcoal as early as possible after toxic ingestions. The active compounds found in Ipecac are cephaline and emetine, which differ only by a single methyl group. These alkaloids have both peripheral and central effects. They are irritating to the stomach mucosa and also stimulate the chemoreceptor trigger zone in the brainstem to induce vomiting. However, Ipecac is no longer recommended for multiple reasons. First, there is incomplete gastric emptying. While Ipecac does induce vomiting fairly reliably, just because you vomit doesn't mean that all of the toxin is removed and you prevent poisoning morbidity and mortality. You could say the same also about activated charcoal, that it doesn't prevent all toxin absorption, but charcoal also has a better side effects profile. The acute side effects of Ipecac are also a concern. Some patients can become lethargic, making it difficult to know if any lethargy that you see is from the Ipecac or the poison they had ingested in the first place and combining lethargy with a vomiting patient isn't a great idea, since that's increasing the risk of aspiration. Also, if your patient is vomiting, that makes it harder to use other poisoning treatments, such as giving activated charcoal, or oral N-acetylcysteine in cases of acetaminophen overdose, or initiating whole bowel irrigation. There are also some dangerous effects from chronic use, as have been seen in patients abusing Ipecac for bulimia, which has caused myopathy, including cardiomyopathy, and has been implicated in several deaths. Ipecac has also been used in some cases of Munchausen by proxy. Having this drug intentionally present in many homes and available over the counter, when compared to its limited benefits, ultimately led to it no longer being recommended, and since 2010 it hasn't been manufactured in the United States. So basically, all you need to know about Ipecac is that it had been used to induce vomiting after toxic ingestions, but it is no longer recommended. The figure here is from a series of toxicology visual mnemonics by Kloss and Bruce, inspired by a gag from Seth MacFarlane's animated show, Family Guy. The rest of this video, about a minute and a half, shows this gag from 2005, Season 4, Episode 8. I thought it was funny enough to include, but you can skip it. No problem. All right, you guys, I got eight crates of Epicac from Mort, all on my tab. Now, whoever goes the longest without puking gets the last piece of pie in the fridge. Okay, here we go. How's everybody doing? Good, good so far. All right, all right. Nothing yet. Cool, cool. You know, I, I don't know if you guys had any of that pie already, but that is, uh, that is some tasty stuff. That's from the uh, bake sale that Lois was... Ooh, one down. I know somebody who won't be having any... I'm starting to feel funny. Well, I feel fine. I guess I'm going to... Oh, boy! That means I win! I get to eat... Oh, oh, oh God! Why didn't anybody tell me? Oh, my God! My insides are on fire! No, 
no, please, no more, no more. No. Dad, I'm scared. Go! Get the phone. Call 911. Lois, 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 get in here. Okay, okay. I think it's all gone. I think it's... I don't want it. I don't want it. Man. Peter, Peter, I need you to hold my ears. Oh, oh.